video we have seen our in the grade 5 the composition how to write the composition is yes? and in how many how much content we have to write in uh, the composition of 5 marks and how much content we should write is yes? so we have learned that how much content we should write how to write the composition yes so in today's session we will know our new English grammar topic for new chapter, chapter number 7, degrees of comparison. I think students it's new for you that degrees of comparison. First of all for that we have to know that what is the meaning of comparison. Yes. So let's know what is the meaning of comparison. An evolution of the similarities and differences of one or more things relative to some other or each other is known as comparison. What it is known as? Comparison. Yes. So what it means? First of all, we have to know that an evaluation of the similarities, ऐसी situations like जैसे अगर किसी को difference out करना, किसी में भेदभाव करना, that is known as a comparison. We do compare with each other or with some other. We do the comparison of peoples, animals, things. Yes, many other. Things. So, it relates to some. Similarities means it relates to same to same. Similarities means for cheese hum means ek dono mein same hoti hai jo. Usse kehte similarities we tell that similarities and differences means difference means if I am if uh, I give the example let's see the example. So means kisi ke beech mein similarities means kisi ke beech mein koi cheese same ho na ek dusro ke beech mein. Or differences means to show the difference. Bhed baab dikhana hai ki dusro mein. कुछ अलग होता है जो if I am another type and the another person is of another type yes तो comparison होती है दोनों के बीच में it follows the differences so it means a comparisons it relates to one or more thing एक से ज़्यादा चीजों के बारे में अगर हम कुछ differences बता रहे हैं या similarities दिखा रहे हैं we show the similarities or differences between one or more things things relates to some other the topic will be some other thing also we relate to other persons also other animals things it can be anything or each other we show the difference between one and another yes so it means a comparison so let's see one uh, one or two examples yes so here if I want to sh uh, show the similarities then I will see Rina is as good as Nina. Yeah, so here I have showed the similarities between Rina and Nina. They are both same. They uh, their qualities are same. They are good. Nina, Rina is as good as Nina. Dono achhe hi hai, right? If the second sentence, if I want to show the differences, then how I will show? Yes. Rohit is better than Mohit. Yeah. So here the example is Rohit is better than Mohit. Yes. So Rohit say uh, Rohit is better than Mohit. Mohit say Rohit bohati achha ladka hai. Right? So here shows the difference because here the then word is used. You can see better than. And if we show the similarities in the sentence we use as then the adjective then s s plus adjective plus s if we show the similarities so rina is as good as nina second we show the difference rohit is better than mohit so here the word adjective plus the word then the yes the comparison word is then so now here we will know there are uh, three types of degrees of comparison. We will know one by one in detail. Yes? So let's know.
three types of degrees of comparison. From that, number one is positive degree. What it is? Positive degree. Now we will know the definition about it. When we are talking about one person or thing, we use the adjective in its ordinary form. This is called the positive degree. Yes. So when we are talking about one person or thing, we use the adjective in its ordinary form. This is called the positive degree. So what is said here? When we are on kisi ek person ke baare mein, if we are talking about the one person, animal or thing, at that time we use the adjective in it. Yes. In that sentence, we use the adjective in its ordinary form. Jaise hum use karte hain. As you all know, that adjective describes the quality of person, animal or thing. Yes. So. its ordinary form this is called a positive degree now we will identify how it's known or how it's the adjective its form in its ordinary form let's see the examples number 1 yes if i want to say this room is
he had adjectives into it in the sentence while comparing with the two person animals or things here we are talking about the two peoples do persons ke bare mein baat ho rahi hai reena and maya here are the two persons it is one and here the another person so here more than one person we are talking about so here as i said we add e r to the adjective how see tall is the adjective tall adjective hai yahan pe yeah here the tall is adjective here we have told that we have to add the e r to it we are showing the comparison between the two peoples then we have added e r into it maine tall ke baad kya use kiya e r so you are what it means reena and taller than maya means maya se reena bahut reena maya se bahut hi lambi hai it's way she is very tall so we added here the adjective after the adjective we added e r into the adjective so we can identify that it is a comparative degree so now in the second sentence what we will know how we will know that first room is bigger than second
is the tallest girl in the class yes here we have used akila is the tallest girl in the class so here akila is a person class ke beech mein baat hui hai in the whole of class we have shown the difference of akila because she is the most tallest girl in the class so here akila is what person yes we have told you that we are comparing three or more persons so we and it's compared to the class in whole sub class pure class mein se akila sabse heighted ladki is she is very tallest in the class so your as we know the adjective is tall so we added what we added e s t into h yeah we added after the adjective we added we added est to the adjective so here it's compared that akila is the tallest girl in the class so uh, now second example taj mahal is the biggest monument all over the world so here we are talking about the world we are comparing with the world that taj mahal is the biggest monument it is a place yes so here we told about the place we can tell about the people animal things taj mahal is a type of a place so we can talk about the place also taj mahal is the biggest monument all over the world so big as we said it is a place as we showed the big big is a adjective in it and we added est what we added est into a so you are to compare that that is the biggest monument all over the world so now we will see that in uh, some adjectives are used with more or most in the superlative form degrees and the comparative degrees so let's see superlative degrees yes as i told we use with some adjectives uh, we use more with it hum adjectives pe kya add karte uske sath या तो मोर या तो मोस्ट वी यूज मोर और मोस्ट विद टू शो दैट इट इज अ कंपेरेटिव एंड अ सुपरलेटिव डिग्रीज लेट सी सम एग्जांपल्स हाउ इट इज शो हाउ वी विल आइडेंटिफाई दैट एग्जांपल्स फर्स्ट नंबर द शॉर्ट आर always more crowded just before christmas राइट यू द मोर टू द 
एग्जिक्यूटिव क्राउडेड मींस इट्स भीड़ भाड़ वाली जगह यस बिफोर क्रिसमस जैसे राइट सो हियर वी आइडेंटिफाई दैट इट इज इन कंपैरेटिव डिग्री सेकंड एग्जांपल विंटर इज द most wonderful season of all yes so your winter is the most wonderful season of all you we use the most wonderful yes so winter is the most wonderful season of all so you uh, we have to show that it's in superlative degree we used most in it if we are using the superlative your wonderful is the adjective yes what it is adjective by that we can know and identify that it is a superlative degree so i hope students you all understood that what is the degree what is the meaning of comparison and their types positive degree comparative degree superlative degree and how uh, we use adjective in it to show that it's a comparative degree and a superlative we use more and most in a so till then stay safe stay home thank you and have a nice day